custom dashboard for deployments and some of the options that are available. Um, there are default built-in ones that we include in Harness for uh, deployments and for services, but you can also create your own. And these are down here in dashboards. So we can create a new dashboard. I'll just call it CD example. Okay, and you can watch this video that'll walk you through everything I'm doing, but I'll walk you through it all the same. So now we'll create our dashboard and then we'll start adding tiles to it. So right now it's empty. I'll add it and I'll add tiles. Okay, there's different categories based on the modules that you have, and if you have deployments, if you have de here the continuous delivery, then you'll have deployments and services. And you scroll down here and you'll see different uh, options here for deployments, projects, and services. Let's look at deployments. So you have filters, you have dimensions, and you have measures. So you can create a visualization over here using these. Um, let's take a look at some interesting stuff here. So if I scroll down, I have projects and services. Actually, let's keep going and go to artifact image, for example. So I can select artifact images, and then I can say they're total deployments. Um, and I could organize these by project um, name or service name. Let's do project name. So you put those three things in there. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of data in this account. Uh, currently, I haven't done a lot of deployments in it. But it will show you that these things can be graphed quite simply. So now you have visualization. You can adjust all the visualizations like, uh, like this by clicking these different options here. Um, and then you can remove things as well, like perhaps I don't really want product uh, project name. So I can just take that and remove it, and then run it again. Again, I don't have that many, as you can see, but it does show you how you can combine the measures and the dimensions to produce uh, visualizations. And then when you're done, let me run it one more time, and then you're done, you can save it, and now it's a tile that you can then name, so this is, uh, let me just call it deployments by artifact image. Okay. And then you can do some settings here. You can hide it. You can add notes. You can duplicate it. Um, and then you can also set other settings, such as to run on load or to automatically refresh. And you can create more filters as well, cross uh, filtering, and you can add filters. And once you're done, you click Save. And now that's one of the tiles on your dashboard. And you can create more and more as you go. It's a very simple process and it has a lot of advanced features.